What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Semi Restore Lite for iOS 10. That was actually uh, published yesterday by Coolstar ORG on Twitter. Now Semi Restore Lite for iOS 10 is an actual update of the uh, probably well-known Semi Restore tool that was available since iOS 5 and the last update was for iOS 9.1 and is a tool for removing safely the jailbreak on a device. Now I have created a uh, tutorial in, in my previous videos, I think two days ago, on how to remove the jailbreak using various commands, but at that time the semi-restore light didn't exist. So uh, now you can use this one, it's pretty damn simple, but compared to the previous versions that required OS X, this one can be done directly from the device. Now, there are two main reasons for which you would uh, actually remove your jailbreak from a device, and trust me, when, you, when you're using semi-restore, you are not updating the firmware, which means that you are cleaning the device, getting it to the stock, to the uh, to the normal operational state, but you're not actually updating it, which means that you are able to jailbreak in the future if you want. So that's quite good. Now, um, the uh, the reasons you, want, you would like to do that, you would want to do that is, first, you have a tweaks that, I don't know, you've installed tweaks that messed up something in the system, and now the phone is running very bad, or CDI is crashing, or various tweaks are crashing, and so on, and you want to fix that. And the second one, you want to bring your uh, device to the Apple Store for, I don't know, a screen replacement, a battery replacement, and you probably know if you, if you went into an Apple Store and you've had a jailbreak on the on the device, you've got your um, your warranty void. So um, this is why you should remove the jailbreak before doing this. So without further ado, let's see how we use this tool. Sorry for the long introduction, but I had to actually explain what this tool is. At first, in order to acquire it for the moment, it's not available in Cydia. I do not know if it's, if it's going to be, but it's available on Coolstar ORG's official website, which is coolstar.org. And uh, I'm going to link the tweet in the description down below for you to be able to click on the link. Now, I'm going to click on the link and you're going to see you need files uh, installed. Uh, if any of you require any... Um, tutorial that doesn't require files that to be installed, files are being a file manager available in Cydia for free, that, that looks like this. Uh, it's a replacement for iFile if you want. Uh, then you can tell me in the comment section down below and I'm going to make a video in which I do not use files. But this is a standard procedure for the moment. After you click that link that is going to be in the description down below, it's going to show you these if you're in a jailbroken state, of course. You click open in files and it will download automatically. You can see the name, it's in here, and the default path of the file, you are going to need to write it down, is private var mobile documents. So... Um, we, we've got here, sorry, we've got here the, uh, the path, we've downloaded the file, now we need to open mobile terminal or M terminal, another tweak that is available of course on Cydia, and we need to run the command. Now, before uh, running the command, you should keep in mind that this is going to remove all your tweaks, this is going to unstash the system if you have been stashing, and it's going to make the um, uh, erase button in the settings safe, so you will be able to erase the contents and the settings without having problems due to the jailbreak, which is kind of good. Alright, before we start, we need to obtain the permissions to do this, so we're going to write SU, and it's going to ask you for a password. The default password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. This is the uh, default password for all um, Linux-based or Unix-based systems. As you can see, now I'm on the root, and we can run the command, but first we need to see where the uh, actual binary that we downloaded is. So CD, and as I say, the path is in private. I'm going to leave the, uh, the path in the description for those of you who cannot see. It's in private var mobile, actually your user folder, mobile, documents, uh, make sure you capitalize the D, comments in here, and of course the name of the file, but we first need to press return. All right, so now we are in the correct folder, but before we can continue, we need to give the uh, application we're going to start the correct permissions. In order to do that, we're going to run the following command, ch mode, plus x, plus x in here, 
and then the name of the file, which is semi-restore. You must respect the capitalized letters. If it has capital letters in the name, you must, of course, use them. Restore 10 dash light and in my case it has also dash one this is the name of the file for some reason double check your name before running the command now you must know uh, I'm going to press return there we go uh, you must know the fact that uh, you should probably make a backup of your data I do not know if it's going to remove your personal data it shouldn't of course your photos and so on but to be extremely safe, you should go ahead in iTunes before running this command and would be better in non-jailbroken state and make a copy of your photos, of your movies, music, whatever. So um, now the good part, we're going to run the application with dot slash and the name of the app, which is semi-restore, again capitalized, the letters that are capitalized in the name, 10 dash light dash one. Now when I'm going to press return it's going to start doing whatever it's programmed to do so you should probably keep in mind that you shouldn't interrupt the application in any way leave it to uh, whatever it wants to do. So I'm going to press return and it will start performing anything. Now yeah, it was pretty easy for me actually because as you can see I didn't have a lot of tweaks I only had files uh, installed in mobile terminal but for you it might take more so um, the uh, stashing isn't installed as you can see in my case in here it says warning ignoring request to remove the uh, com.colstar.stash because it is not installed but for you it will start doing anything for example it will remove the themes it will remove the uh, tweaks it will remove anything related to the jailbreak but you will still be able to jailbreak in the future so I'm going to exit this terminal and uh, we're going to be safe but you can see now the tweaks are no longer starting because they have been uh, actually removed and none of them are actually working if Cydia does Cydia does for the moment but it actually removed the uh, the tweaks completely so what I can do now I'm still jailbroken as I still have the applications in here well you can go ahead in here to settings go to general and uh, without doing the uh, the following procedure that I uh, sorry the uh, previous procedure that I have shown you you should never ever try to do this on a jailbroken device so unless you used semi restore do not do this on your device. But if you did use semi-restore and you got or whatever I got in there, you can click now erase all contents and settings and it's going to actually uh, reset the device to its default settings and erase everything including your personal data so you should keep that in mind but also anything related to the jailbreak and it's going to bring you to the um, the same version you have been but clean and completely out of any jailbreak. I'm going to do that as well on this device and I'm going to come up with the results but again keep in mind you should probably make a backup of your personal data before you do this and the second thing you should need uh, you should do is never press erase all contents and settings on a jailbroken device to which you didn't use semi restore uh, successfully because it's going to break your device if you do it before using semi restore. So I'm going to press in here erase iPod and of course it's going to be back, but it's going to be back without any jailbreak. Be right back. All right, so as you can see, the uh, device has been resetted. I went through the uh, setup phase and then it shows up like this. You can see the wallpaper has been resetted to the original one for this iPod and also the uh, applications that I have installed have been removed. But the only application that remains is Cydia. Of course, you cannot open it like this but if you really want to get rid of it completely before you do the uh, the entire procedure you should go in Cydia go to installed packages and remove Cydia installer it will remove it from the screen and then you can run the commands in M terminal or mobile terminal and you will remove any traces of any jailbreak but I decided to leave it just in case I want to jailbreak again later uh, you can still jailbreak again of course even if you do that but I'm going to show you the device wasn't updated you can see um, it still says that I have an, an update for iOS 10.2.1 but I should download and install it and it's not installed. So I'm now enjoying a clean device, just um, restored to the factory settings, no more jailbreak and things like this but I can jailbreak at any time with Yalu. So this is how you use Semi Restore Lite. I really hope I shed some light on uh, those of you who do not know how to use it. And until the next time, I'm Geosnow, peace out. <laughs>